Thank you so much for the gentlelady to yield. Mr. Speaker, since I was a freshman in high school, I wanted to become a physician. I was blessed to get to do that, and by the time of my second year in medical school, my wife and I had our first daughter, and most of us were trying to decide what type of doctor we were going to be. And the moment that little girl was born, I knew that I wanted to spend my medical career delivering babies. I think my wife can attest that for the next 30 years of my life, most of my waking moments were spent with somebody in labor. So blessed to, to get to participate in that wonderful moment. I was blessed to get to go to Congress and represent the people of Kansas and woke up a couple weeks ago to the cheering of the state legislators from New York and their, and their uh, governor. And I turned the, the, the volume up to see what the fuss was. And the fuss was they were celebrating their ability to murder the same babies that I've been trying to protect and deliver for the last 30 years of my life. I don't think there's any Americans, I've never met an American who would think that it's right to murder a baby moments, days, or weeks before its due date. It's the most barbaric, the most barbaric, barbaric law I've ever heard of in, in our society. And if this wasn't enough, I turned the news on a week later, and now they're talking about murdering babies after they were born from so-called failed abortions. I cannot believe that I live in a society that would even think about this. So I went to my office the next day, and I got my staff together and said, look, we've got some legislation that's going to take care of this. We have our uh, born survivor abortion bill that protects babies after they're born, and then we have a pain-capable uh, bill as well to protect babies who are able to, to feel pain from being aborted. And my staff looked at me, right, we've got that legislation. And I said, well, all we'll need is 20 or 30 Democrats to sign on to this. Surely the Speaker of the House is against late-term abortion. Surely she's against infanticide. But my staff looked at me with bewildering eyes and said, Congressman, I, I, I don't think we're going to find any Democrats to do that. And if I could just, I want to just talk a second about the moms, too. No one is talking about how horrible this is going to be for mothers. Moms are going to die from these late-term abortions. As an obstetrician, I never did an abortion. But guess who takes care of complications from abortions? It's obstetricians. I remember the first week I was in residency, and I was called to the emergency room. And there before me was a lady in shock, and I apologize if this is too graphic, but this situation is so graphic I have to tell you the details. This young lady was bleeding out buckets of blood, and I found out what had happened is she just had an abortion done hours before, and now she was hemorrhaging. And I looked at the nurse, I said, you know, what's going on here? And I knew that we needed to take her to the operating room, and to find out during the procedure that a piece of that baby was still inside her uterus, and the uterus couldn't clamp down, so she was hemorrhaging. This is a story I would see over and over again. The later the abortion procedure is done in the pregnancy, the more often we're going to see this. People are going to get perforated uteruses. It's going to be catastrophic for women. Mr. Speaker, we can't allow this to continue. With that, I yield back.